the current approaches to uh, sickle cell and malaria testing are actually pretty good, but the problem is that they're really, for sickle cell, they're really only useful in central labs. So it works in big cities for people who have money. And there's no low cost, fast, accurate test. And so Gazelle Brings is a solution to both those problems. What is so cool about the Gazelle is that it solves a problem that kills over 400,000 kids a year who die of a disease that uh, can be cured easily and that can be detected easily. It's just that they don't have access to the test and that's, uh, that's what Gazelle does. Gazelle is really designed to be a platform diagnostic. So meaning it, it's, it's really a host that can host uh, specific tests that can be used for a number of diseases. We designed Gazelle to really be a platform that could go in a lot of places and could survive a lot of challenging conditions. For uh, malaria and sickle cell, you know, a lot of the tribal population in India are affected uh, with this. And they live, you know, up in the hills in very remote areas. There is no electricity. The climatic conditions are very harsh. So we needed a point of care device, which we can use in these kind of settings. So we designed Gazelle to be this instrument that could run all day without power. It uh, could survive up to 113 degrees. It could be shaken up moved around and transported, and also could be affordable. Point of care diagnostics are, are huge. The, the WHO, for example, says that about 70% of children's lives with sickle cell disease can be saved with just early diagnosis. Treatment is accessible and affordable, and the ability to diagnose people is the critical piece there. So being able to do that with that patient sitting in front of you is in incredibly important. The funding from the Oregon Lottery has been critical to our success. It's allowed us to do some things that were innovative and risky that we couldn't afford to do on our own. It's allowed us to grow the number of employees we have. We started as two people, and now I think we're over 25 people in Oregon. Hemex is a small team, but uh, very passionate. You know, it's a big vision, and it's global. Uh, you know, innovation in Oregon. You know, lottery money can be put to good use here, not just for the folks in Africa, but every little country and inner city in the United States. Of course, it's business. It's, you know, you have to generate revenues, you have to have profitability, return on investment for the investors, etc. But there is a bigger mission, there's a bigger goal, and that is how does that impact not just the company's bottom line, but a societal impact that it can create by improving the quality of life.